Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And I'm looking like a hot mess, first of all. Second of all, I'm going to be doing something different that I don't think I've, no, I've never done this on my channel. I don't even know why I had to think about it. I'm on dyeing my hair. I destroyed the box, but it's called Dusty Mob. This is gonna probably turn out really fucking bad. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm having a quarter life crisis. I was laying in bed, stressing about all the tests and quizzes and crap I have to do because of college. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna dye my hair because I'm sad. I also bought a brown box dye because I know this is gonna go horribly wrong and I'm gonna hate myself and watch this video back and regret it. Let's ruin our lives. I also am gonna talk about how I got BTS tickets for the Love Yourself World Tour in Texas and then how I also got tickets for the Wings Tour back in March, last March, no, last year, March. Um, because it's fucking the Hunger Games getting those tickets and when I got them, I got floor seats for wings and I got floor seats for Love Yourself, but I sold them and I bought the section 100 row A because I'm going with my little sister and yeah, the experience, watch my wings tour experience and you'll see that I could not bring a seven year old with me on the floor. That just would not work out. So we got first row seats in the first section, whatever. And yeah, um, so I'm gonna tell you how I got that while I, uh, just drying my hair. And first I'm gonna section my hair. I'm wearing this old shirt. It's gross, hence why I'm using it. Look at that, Yoongi is judging me so hard. He's like, don't fucking do it, bitch. You're gonna look bad. But I'm like, I'm already ugly. What do I have to lose at this point? So real quickly before we get into how I bought the tickets or how I got them, I just wanna say real quickly, I've been seeing going around YouTube, you know, those unpopular K-pop opinions. Um, I watched a few of them and I've just come to the conclusion, oh, that's hot, that people are making these videos to literally, what's the word? Um, it's just bullying. Like, it's not even like an unpopular K-pop opinion. Like, I don't even what one would be like, I love Big Bang, but you know, like their songs are just not what I'm into, but like, I love them. It's just like, I'm not really into them. That's like an unpopular opinion. Not when you sit there and go, Rose's voice from Blackpink fucking sucks and Momoland doesn't deserve to be a fucking group and they're problematic and just going off about things like of who they are as people and it's turned into bullying now and like I watch them and I'm like, these aren't like, these are not unpopular K-pop opinions. These are literally you finding an excuse to act shitty towards these groups. I don't like those videos. I don't think they're good. I think they promote a lot of hate. I think everybody, whether if you stay in the group or not, you should respect other groups and downing them like that on their talent and who they are as people. I, I think we're all better than that. This is my little non-bullying rant because I can't stand it. I think it's stupid. Anyway, the dyes, you can't even tell really. It's, it's purple, so. What time is it? I'm going into this so blindly right now. Oh well. Um. Here's the first mistake. I'm gonna regret this for the rest of my life. Oh well, what do I have to lose? So, as I'm destroying my hair at the moment and contemplating why I'm doing this, and I could stop now, but I'm just gonna keep going, because why not? So, the Love Yourself Tour, the tickets went on sale, when did they go on sale? Like back in May? I can't remember, I feel like it was forever ago. Maybe it was May, I think it was May. And, I was fucking terrified because getting wings tickets like for the tour was t fucking terrifying. I got tickets for the, I was trying to get tickets for California for the wings tour when they first came out. They sold out so fucking quickly. I couldn't even like not one pair of tickets reached my cart. Like I got nothing. I was so devastated. I cried for like two weeks straight. Like I'm not even being dramatic. I was depressed. I was just not happy. I was like, I can't believe this is my luck. Like, this is so hard. Like, and then I got, they released a Chicago show and I got so fucking lucky that pit tickets popped up. So, I mean, that's just kind of showing you it's a, it's, it's pretty difficult to um, get uh, tickets. It's not easy. It's gonna be World War III because for the Wings tour, yeah, they had a shit ton of fans, but now they have a shit ton of more fucking fans, like more American fans. And I was like, fuck, this is gonna be so hard. 
there's gonna be five times the amount of fucking people, especially because they just got done with like the Billboard Music Awards and the AMAs. And so they definitely were exposed a whole fucking more, like a lot more in the US than they were for Wings. The tickets then proceeded to go on sale the next weekend after that. I can't even remember, whatever. But here's what you have to do if you're trying to buy tickets. Number one, open up like five computers, okay? I opened up two computers. One was my laptop. I went to my dad's and I made him help me. <laughs> Sorry, dad. Um, open up his computer. And then I proceeded to use my phone, my dad's phone, my stepmom's phone, and my brother's phone, who was an 18 year old and was not very happy with that, but he still let me, so thank you. And um, so I got up. <laughs> three hours before the tickets were supposed to go on sale because number one, I couldn't fucking sleep. I was so stressed. I stayed the night at my dad's house so that way I could wake up on time. I think tickets were on sale at either nine or 10 a.m. I literally can't remember which one it was. So I was like, oh fuck, here we go. I get so scared. I'm like, my whole life is depending on this moment right now if I'm gonna get tickets or if I'm not. My dad hates this because he's stressed because he knows that if we don't get tickets, he's got to do with me being a depressed ass for the next fucking rest of my life if I don't get to see them in person again. So it was about 10 minutes, no, 20 minutes until the tickets went on sale. I got everybody in my dad's office with all the computers, the laptops. So you want to get everything pre-set up, make an account already on the site. Like if it's Ticketmaster, make a Ticketmaster account and pre-save your credit card details. That way when you check out, like if you happen to get seats and you click check out, you can just sign in to your account, click buy and you have them. There's no stress of trying to hurry up and type in your credit card because they give you no fucking time to do that. It's so stressful. Keep your um, account on the ticket site. Like if, it's, if there's a timer, there should be a timer when you go to buy the tickets. And when that timer comes on, you wait. It then proceeded to put you in a line. So at 10 or nine, whenever the tickets were on sale, it proceeded to put all of my computer, my dad's computer, the phones, everything in a line. It said, you were waiting in a line. This is way more important than I suspected. Oh, well, no turning back now, I guess. <laughs> when I finally got through the line or whatever the freak they were, cause you know, 30,000 other fans are doing the same crap I am right now. It proceeded to say there are no tickets available. If it says that, and I'm telling you this right now, do not get discouraged and log off. Do not do it. There are still tickets. I don't know how to explain it, but there is. And this is coming from me. I've gone to at least 60 plus concerts in my lifetime. I'm not even being dramatic. I wish I was. Concerts are my life. They're my favorite thing to do. So I know a thing or two about how to get tickets. Do not exit off. Well, I refreshed for about five more minutes. My dad wasn't getting anything. They made you type in stupid security codes every fucking five seconds. Um, he wasn't getting anything. My stepmom wasn't getting anything. I wasn't getting anything. I was shaking, my heart was pounding, and I was like, I don't think I'm gonna get any. About literally 10 minutes later, all of a sudden, by the grace of God, after refreshing, refreshing, two pit tickets popped up. You don't understand what the fuck I did. I lost my shit. I screamed. I was like, dad, I got the tickets. Give me your credit card information right now. Like I was having a mental fucking breakdown. But first of all, when it says there's no tickets available, I'm not just saying that I just hit my freaking camera. Don't listen to them. There are tickets. You keep refreshing that motherfucker until literally I would say for 30 minutes I would keep trying because they keep popping up tickets, taking them off. Some people have tickets in their cart, then they decide they don't want them anymore so they let them go back out and you wanna be there to grab them when they do that. Also make sure you click best available. Do not click a certain seating. Whether you want floor, whether you want section 300, click best available. You do not want any filters filtering out tickets. When I got pit, I clicked best available for the wings tour and the love yourself tour. Literally my key advice is don't give up. If it says there's no tickets available, I know a lot of people like they stop. Like they're like, oh, well there's no tickets. I'm done trying. Try for 30 minutes tops because you don't know. Second of all is always check resale sites, StubHub, stuff like that. Tick pics, um, what are some, SeatGeek. Check out stuff like that because some like, it sucks that people do this, but they resell them for 10 times the higher price. But sometimes people just wanna make a little profit, so therefore they will buy the tickets, or they will sell the tickets literally after they buy them for like maybe 400, 
instead of like 250, which sounds like a crazy amount, but really that's pretty dang good. If right now you want tickets and you didn't get any for like the US shows, I recommend you wait about a week before the show. This is what I would do, because this is what I've done for like Justin Bieber. I got Justin Bieber tickets the day of, like this is what I do, wait. Because people who are selling those tickets will go, oh fuck, I still have these tickets. I'm having them listed for $1,000. Nobody's buying them. The concert's literally tomorrow or it's today. And I still have them and I don't fucking want to go. Like I don't want these tickets. So they'll put them on for way fucking lower because they're trying to get rid of them as fast as they can. Now we wait. <laughs> Am I scared? Yes, I don't know why I did this. Like I said, I'm having a midlife crisis. But yeah, those are like my tips. Like I said, patience, keep trying, multiple computers, keep on going. It was the most stressful time of my life, but also so worth it because I get to see these seven beautiful boys in person again. And I don't know why I'm ruining my hair 20 days before the concert. Why do I do these things? I really don't fucking know. Like, what should I be doing right now? Oh, probably doing the homework that I have. Yeah, because I have homework, you know, college. But no, I'm like laying in bed, like eating some Skittles. I'm like, look at this pretty <laughs> purple Skittle. What would my hair look like purple? <sighs> We're about to find out. So I'm going to go wash this out and then I'm going to come back with makeup on just to make maybe the hair look a little better. I don't know. And see how this turns out and we can cry together before I probably dye it back brown. So I'll be back. So this is how it turned out. I'm not sure if I really like it or if I really fucking hate it. I'm like torn right now with it. Um, it's definitely purple. <laughs> Not as light as the box showed. I even add conditioner in it to soften the look and it looks like <laughs> still pretty dang purple. But I mean, I don't hate it and I don't love it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was really weird and like really random. I just have been wanting to do this for a very long time. And I mean, telling you guys how I bought BTS tickets, not dyeing my hair fucking lavender, or whatever the fuck color this is, but yeah, I gotta get going because I need to go to bed because it's like 10 something at night and I have class tomorrow early in the morning. It's gonna be a long day. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you.